Gallup likes it. Oh, look, Gallup's like, yep, love it, love it, love yeah. it, love it, love it, love yeah. it. Hello, my killer bees. Today we are finally doing probably, I'm gonna say, my most requested video of all time in the history of the almost four years of this channel. And I've been putting it off and putting it off mainly because it's very hard to film in stores, you usually don't like it, you have to be like sneaky sneaky, but I wanna really show you how, as a blind girl, I shop and pick out my outfits. I've asked my friends at Boa Boutique, which is in my hometown, I've been shopping here for years, um, if they would be willing to let me film. You can't have like music playing, which is always a problem in a lot of stores, and they said like, no music, I can come in, I can shop, I can film it, they're totally cool with it, so, Shout out to Boa, I'll have all of their links below, their social media, their website. They have some great stuff, they have locations downtown Oakville, my hometown, and in Toronto. So check them out. I've got my caffeine in hand. I'm ready for this girl, let's go. All right, we're in, coffee's down. I need all, all hands available to be able to start like feeling my way around the store, which is basically how I do it. Gallup really just does this <laughs> the whole time I shop. If he thinks I'm getting too far from him, he'll like get up and walk back over and lay down beside me again. Gallup loves <laughs> shopping, actually. Gypsy, my first guide dog, it was not her, it was like the one thing in which we differed. She was not a shopper. Gallup, on the other hand, when he walks into a mall, the tail starts going, like he gets so happy. I think it's because he gets a combination of like working and napping. When I'm tr trying stuff on, he gets to nap and then in between he gets to work. It's his favorite combo. So it's kind of like fall transitional period. I'm filming this in like early, mid August. Fall is my favorite season for fashion. Chunky knits, plaids, layering, lots of texture, love it. My mom was telling me right here is a shirt that I actually already own. And it says, be loved with a bee on it. And you guys know how I feel about bees, so. But basically when I walk around a store, I'm just feeling up everything. I am going ham on the mannequins feeling them all up. And I'm really looking for texture, shape, and quality. Those are like the three things I look for. I obviously can't tell what pattern, what color, any of that stuff. So what I do is my mom and I kind of tend to divide and conquer. We separate once we get to a store. She'll go and find stuff that she knows I'll like. And then I kind of feel my way around. I'll pick stuff that I think feel like something I would wear and then I'll ask her like for color and pattern and if she says like it doesn't look like a color I would wear I ask her to then like see if there's any other in that area like that are that are ones the same shape same style but in a fabric or color I would wear this actually feels really cute I like the like uh, very trendy kind of crisscross lace-up vibe but it's like a nice soft hoodie and then of course I often shop at um, a lot of boutiques I'll list here, a bunch of stores that are not boutiques that I commonly shop at, both on and offline. I do a lot of online shopping because I can like read the description. But when I'm in store shopping, I do a lot of boutique shopping because I like to get unique, unusual pieces that you're not gonna see everywhere. I kind of have a bit of an out there style. And also when I shop in boutiques, the staff tend to kind of get to know me. They see me in a lot. Um, and they get to know my own style and they know that I can't see so they'll kind of start to pick pieces for me as well So it kind of then ends up becoming like my mom shop associates myself or like all team shopping For me. So these are the two women who own Boa and uh, their sisters in case you didn't oh know uh, <laughs> Are you twins? We are they're twins. twins. They're twins. Yeah. I don't know these things because I can't see them, but apparently my mom can never tell the difference. No. So, <laughs> Daphne, Daphne and Afra. Afra. So, you two usually know what's going to suit me. Uh, you guys know your product better than I do. Um, so, if you guys want to start like picking around while I shop sure. as well, yeah. um, just kind of pull some pieces. You guys yes. know I love my metallics. I love flowy things, soft and stretchy. All that jazz. Okay, so, we're on it. On top of kind of going through and looking at um, the shape of the of the garment, I'd say the first thing I always notice is the fabric. So if something's super soft, that's like immediately where I stop and like pull something out. Or if something's a chunky knit or has a fun texture, I immediately stop and pull it out. Of course, also if it's metallic or glittery, because you guys know I can see metallics and glitters, 
I stop. Second thing I'm looking for once I find that like nice fabric or material that I think I like is gonna be the shape of it. Is it a style I like? Do I think it's gonna suit my own curves, my own body? Of course, sizing, color, pattern, all of that comes last with, with a pair of sighted human eyes. Already I can tell I like this. It's kind of like a linen-y material. <laughs> has some nice buttons, has a tie waist oh, pocket. So that that's so nice. Yeah, this is really cute. What color is it, Mom? It is a beautiful cream, so it kind of goes with everything. Do, do, do. Yeah. You That's how we like clothes. This shopping. with like some cute brown booties and a denim jacket. Girl, outfit done. That's why I love um, one pieces. Actually, the outfit I'm wearing right now is from Boa. Yeah. Um, but I love these like one pieces because your outfit's done. Some joggers for mm. the for the fall with yeah. some zip detailing, pockets are always good. Yeah, these are really cute. They're cami, like a cami pattern. I know you can't see that. She but... calls it camo. Cami, it's cami. camo. I thought I said cami. You always say cami, it's oh. camo, oh, it's, it's camo. camouflage. <laughs> and these ones are really cute too. These ones, you guys can't feel it, but they're almost like a suede, but very tight. It's, it's not suede, but it's almost like a suede. And they have some cute rips on them. I like these. Um, and then I do a lot of research online. So I watch a lot of YouTube hauls, out for the day videos. Um, I research a lot online about like fall trends 2018 uh, leading up to fall shopping, say. And then I'm kind of in my mind, I know what styles and shapes to look for. I also do a lot of research on my own body. I can't see my body, I can't look in the mirror and see what suits me. So I do a lot of research into my own measurements, what body type that makes me, what styles suit that body type. I'm small, very small on top, and then I'm curvier on the bottom. So I know that slim fitting on the top and flowy on the bottom is going to flatter my curves the best. I'm also aware of my skin tone and what colors are gonna suit my skin tone. I can just tell by the feel, I like the buttons. I like the shape of the neckline. Um, I like the material. I like that it has little pockets. I wasn't sure at first when I picked it up if it was gonna be a dress or a romper. It's a dress, I like that better. Gallup comes to Boa. He knows that they have dog treats in their back room. And so he, sneakily, while I try on clothes, will go into the back room to go find himself some treats. There you go, dog treats for Gallup. Gallop. All right, Gallop's taking his nap outside my dressing room, or he's like settling in to take his nap. And uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to try on, combo, things I picked, what the girls picked for me. So uh, sorry, but you can't come with me for this part. I love the idea of it, but I don't think it fits right. So I'll need my eyes to tell me. Gallop doesn't think so either. No, he's like, oh, I'm leaving. I have like, no. Yeah. It's kind of like just a little like it's a little bit roomy for sure there's yeah. some gaping going on um but i think traditionally this cut does better with um a cami under it or a yeah. t-shirt or a turtleneck even all right on to the next one this oh. feels way more me so cute it's adorable how do you feel about the neckline i don't mind it yeah. i don't have any cleavage to speak of <laughs> that's the best way to go but that's you know a bra. Just do a, exactly just do a little necklace yeah. to fill in the Empty space. Keep it simple. It's heaven. I have it. It's super comfortable. Oh, it's so comfortable in the flowy pants. Like this is more slim here. Yeah. Kind of ties in, cinches the waist, and then flows out. Which so everyone, I walked out and immediately everyone loves the colors. Love the color. I got three. Love the color. So um, that's good. It would need to be adjusted, which I'm highly used to. My tailor and I have become good friends over the years. Being a short girl, it's like a common occurrence. When you want clothes that fit your body right, that's what you gotta do. So, yeah, it's very comfortable. I mean, as you guys can tell, I love my jumpsuits. Big trend here with what I've been trying on. All right, I don't know if these pieces are supposed to go together, but I love these pants. The pants are so you with The metallic. I didn't shiny. see these out there, so whoever picked these, good choice. <laughs> love them. Love them. I um, actually think they look great together. I'm loving the top. Yeah, I you. love the top. And it goes with everything. Yeah. What color are the so pants? Cute. So they're silver, black, white blends. Lurks. Yeah. This is so cute. She looks adorable. It Maybe a little black choker. The whole thing put together. The pants pulled up. It's totally Molly. I like, so it's very comfy. Oh yeah. 
And I love this top. Oh, this is a same. winner, this shirt. <laughs> you like it, Mom? I love it. It's very cute. I always need Mom's approval. Gal's <laughs> <laughs> woken up. And okay. he's getting interested to see what Molly's going to come out with next. Hey, Bella? This is an example of something that I would have probably never picked. I like the shape, but I would never pick up mustard yellow. Yeah. But it's... everyone's... And we think it totally works. Yeah, everyone's saying it's, it's a, a great good... color for her. Stunning on you. With her hair. Fantastic on. color on her. You like it, Mom? Yeah, I think it's lovely. It's but you good. agree, we would have never picked. Never, never, never. No. No. <laughs> That's so fun. That's why it's always good to have like other eyes yes. helping out. Yeah. Ooh, there's a wall there. Watch out, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll keep trying stuff on. We'll update you if uh, we find some more good stuff. Everyone's freaking out in here. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this is the favorite of the whole day. Yes. yes. Okay, let's do the twirl. Ooh. And you could wear it as pants, yeah. like a high-waisted pant with a crop top, which Ooh, I think yeah. is cute. Totally. Very fall sort of inspired colors, so cute I think denim great jacket colors for her. Over yeah. it, or a chunky cardigan. Oh, I love it. I think I'll be seeing that one. Or even a bralette. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. This is a winner. Love this jumpsuit. So flowy, so cute. I feel like you could dress this up or down. This is my style. A one piece so I don't have to make an outfit hmm. and it's like fitted and flowy suits my quote slim thick body as many of you have told me I have so this is like a prime example of me understanding my body and what I like to accentuate and what I don't so I put these pants on and everybody really liked them at first but then I said I feel like these pockets here because I can feel that there's like chunky pockets are adding bulk to my thighs, which is the thickest part of my body. And it's what I like to distract from by wearing flowy pants. And I can wear skinny jeans and leggings when it's like a slimming fit. But just because this has this bulk here, um, I don't think it's right for my body. And once I said that, everybody was like, oh yeah, <laughs> you can like see it once it's pointed out. And so that's kind of me just using my own understanding of my body. Um, and then feeling how it fits on my body. So here are all the all the yeses. We had good success, but of course, I'm not greedy. I don't need all of these clothes. So now I'm gonna kind of go through all the ones that either I really liked or the audience really liked in the room and kind of pick um, which ones I think are gonna be the most wearable with other pieces in my wardrobe, which I think could be like cool for an Instagram or an event, that kind of thing see what we end up with. I don't think you guys saw me try on this jacket, but it's very similar to this jacket right here. I've worn that jacket to death, so I think it's time to upgrade to another one. Everybody was obsessed with this. And if you're wondering how I know when I pick them up which is which, they all have very distinct textures. Um, so even just by grabbing them, I know what they are. These I'm obsessed with. This black off the shoulder top is I'm going to be wearing it every day, and these pants, like, so molly, they're flowy, they're metallic, that's just a big yes. So we had all the choices made, we were checking out, leaving the store, and my mom found this gem of a jumpsuit. This is like the most molly thing. I'm in love. <laughs> Obsessed. <laughs> Done. Bro. Even Gallup likes it. Oh look, Gallup's like, yep, love it, love it, love yeah. it, love it, love it, love yeah. it. Yeah. All right, you guys, I've got two big bags here and getting my arm workout in today. I think I am set for my transitional fall wardrobe. I'm so excited. Huge shout out to the girls at BOA. Like always, I'll link their stuff below. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>